We barely have two nickels to rub together. Now we're paying for all that food. Jesus Christ. Watch that mouth of yours. We wouldn't be in this mess if you would have listened to me. What mess? Not something you need to worry about, Lincoln. I got it under control. Under control? God damn it, you need to Boy, I'm not eyes. wanting you again. Have it your way, old man. Let him be. He needs to cool off. You mind telling me what's got him so riled up? We've been having uh, problems with the Haitians. But like I say, I got it under control. Well, trucks all loaded up. I figured we got enough out there for... Should I, should I come back? In honor of your returning to us safe and sound, I made a donation to Father James here. Supplied him with food he can hand out to some of our needier family. Well, I was hoping you'd lend me a hand, Lincoln, and give you a chance to see the neighborhood. This thing with the Haitians, how serious is it? Ah, you know Ellis. Someone looks at him the wrong way, he's on them like a wet dog. Like I said, I can now uh, come back. Nonsense. Lincoln needs to get out. Enjoy the day. Besides, be good for the two of you to spend some time together. Mm. Go on. Those people waiting on their food. Oh, I saw Langan a couple times once he was first back. <laughs> he told me he wanted to leave town, head out to California. Now, he had a friend in the service who could get him a job working at the Mare Island shipyard. And the only reason he came back was to tell Sammy and Ellis goodbye. But then he found out about the trouble Sammy was having with those Haitians. So he decided to stay in hell. Those Haitians, they are bad news. No talking Lankin out of it. Whatever else he might have become, Lankin was always loyal. Well, then most likely. Three month apprenticeship to start, then the union lets you in. You tell Sammy and Ellis? Not yet. I'm gonna wait a few days. Didn't want to spring it on them since I just got back. Well, they won't like to hear it, but they'll come around. You need to do what's best for you. Go ahead and start serving those folks. I'll be back. Give Sammy my best, Lincoln. Yes, sir. Where you been? Warm meal, warm heart, oh sure. Thanks. Nice to see you. You delivering a real blessing here, Lincoln. Thank you. Blessings mine, ma'am. Couple of days back and they already got you working? Ah, I'm happy to do it means a hell of a lot to all of us. Don't get old, son. It's a fucking shit show. <laughs> I'll see what I can do about that. Hey there, Lincoln. How are you, Regine? I'm good. Nice to see you around the holler again. Nice to see those big brown eyes again. Well, they'll be over at my aunt's place with the rest of me. You should stop by. Maybe I'll do that. Megan, we got trouble. Run, Regine. Run. What's the matter with you, Lincoln? Sammy's next. Please, run. 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 Shoot him. You boys ought to be ashamed. Got nowhere to go. Let's ride this train all the way. He won't let me. Francois Papadoc Duvalier 
I was elected president of Haiti in 1957. By 1959, he had created a secret police called Tonton Makut, and people started to flee. Uh, most of them settled in the southern United States. Now, mixed in with the good, hard-working people were hardened criminals. Uh, they formed the backbone of what became the Haitian gang. Now, Lincoln found out they set up in the swamps and were led by a man named Baca. Uh, you and Father James done already? We got jumped by the Haitians. It's time you level with me. Tell me what's really going on. Yes. I suppose it is. Six, sir. Seven months ago, folks in the hollow started getting robbed. Money, jewelry, things of that nature. Didn't take long for us to figure out it was the Haitians. Then those batas on Velour started going after the lottery. How much money are we talking about? How much? Enough that we're in deep shit with Sal Marcano. Haven't kicked up to him in three months. Jesus Christ. If I deal with them, that gives us time to settle up with Marcano, right? Let me worry about Sal. He and I go way back. But this thing with the Haitians... It's time for it to end. You and Ellis need to handle it. How we gonna find them? Back in the 20s, folks used to pull salt out of the bayou. They even built themselves a little shanty town. When the depression hit, they abandoned it. That's the only place this could have come from. We're gonna need guns and ammo. Call this number. Do it away from here. No sense tipping anybody off. Or we could sweep the hollow, track down and kill every last one of those cocksuckers, then we wouldn't have to worry about it. The last thing folks in this neighborhood need to see is colored people killing each other. Do this quiet, away from here. Once we eliminate whoever's running the show, the rest of them will go down on their own. Trust me. All right, soldier boy. I'll follow your lead. Be careful, yeah? Those Haitians are a hard people. Do not ever underestimate them. C'est lié que c'est diverse c'est suscite l'hostilité. You show this is how you want to play this. Last thing they're going to expect is an attack from the water. You head back round to the row. Stay with the car. I'll meet you over there when this is done. Hope you know what you're doing. Trust me, Ellis. Here in a bit, this will all be behind us. If we have to burn down half the hollow to kid Sammy, we doing it. Ain't stopping till that old man's dead. Him, Ellis, and the other one. Lincoln Clay. He's the one. This time you won't get away from us. Papa leg by open the gate for me. Thank you. 
Should have killed that old man a long time ago. Think the boss was worried that Sammy would involve Marcano. Ask him to come down on us. That cracker asshole don't give a shit about some worn out nigga. Long as the money's coming in, Marcano don't care who's handing it to him. Not one of us! Blood.
We must... Where does this asshole go? No excuses! Tear this place apart! <laughs> Those deep shits fucked up the hit on Sunday. Wouldn't have been a bad idea if they got the motherfucker.
Quoi Should've killed me when you had the chance, asshole! First I kill you, then I kill a useless old monster. Fuck you! Who won't Fuck you! You made a big mistake going after the hollow. The man you're talking about took me in when I had nowhere else to go. You are no better than you. You fucking pig! Damn you to hell! Take it easy! Take it easy! Take it easy! He kept me in there, locked in there, day and night. Beat me, use me. I kiss you, motherfucker! You and your entire goddamn family! He's dead! He's dead! He can't hurt you anymore. It's over. Over? Over! <laughs> this is never going to be over. Pajam! Fucking Haitians. Um, fuck the fuck. Send me some more there!
Until we find <laughs> Something! Christ is gone. This is getting goddamn ridiculous. Apart. We Maybe you can find this fuck. Make your way over. See if he's still there. Stop until we find you, bruh! What? Another one down! 
We ain't stopping till we find you, bruh! Got you now, asshole! Always got to get you out of trouble, don't I? You old? I am. How'd it go with Baka? Well, we came to an understanding. He stayed dead, not let him. Let's get back to Sammy's. Can't even tell you how happy Pops is going to be. And this shit with the Haitians has been weighing on him. But with them out the way, things will calm down. Go back to the way they should be. Been telling him for months we needed to do something like this, but Pops, he... I don't know. Sometimes I think he's lost the taste for this shit. Just because a man don't rush to violence don't mean he lost something. I know, just makes me wonder what happens after, you know? No, I don't know. Explain it to me. Don't matter if it's a bullet or the hand of God. We all go sometime, right? I suppose. The Ellis, we don't need to talk about. I pray that Pops outlives the both of us. But if he doesn't, every motherfucker in the hollow is going to be looking to us or gunning for us. Just saying we got to be ready when that day comes. Yeah, well, that's not something we got to worry about right now. So just cool it with your grand plans, all right? Yeah, all right. Fang Lankin didn't understand, or maybe want to understand, is that for a man like Sammy, there's always going to be more Haitians. Now, if there wasn't someone going after Sammy, then there was someone else forcing him into a bad situation. It was never going to end. That's how Lincoln ended up working for Sal Marcano. 